Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to unbox the Droid 3 today. The Droid 3 is the latest original Droid from Verizon. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Nothing really fancy here, uh, but basically says it's got the Droid 3, the battery, SIM card, uh, so it's global ready, and the wall charger and some other manuals. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now the Droid 3 is a little bit bigger than the Droid 2 in screen size. Instead of having a 3.7 inch screen like the Droid 2 has, let's take a look at it here. Here's the Droid 2. It drops the 3.7 inch screen for a 4 inch screen with a 540 by 960 uh, resolution. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phone in a second and see what's in the box here first. So in the box we have our uh, typical micro USB Motorola cable. We have our battery charger to USB, AC adapter, our battery. Now this battery is, uh, let me take a look and see what the actual size is here. The size is a 1540 milliamp hour, 1500 milliamp hour battery. And according to Motorola, the battery is good for 9.16 hours of talk time and 300 hours of standby time. Real world, we're not, we're not really sure, but they're usually pretty close. We have the back here. It's in a little Ziploc baggie. And unlike the Droid, this is plastic, so that's different. And then we have our typical Droid paperwork. Let's see what this is. We've got our SIM activation. What is this little uh, orange thing? Oh, it's just important information, some literature. We'll put that aside and go ahead and take a look at the Droid itself. Now here's the phone. Looks nice. Should have a keyboard, and it does. Let's go ahead and put the battery in. Now you can see there is a SIM card, so that means it's global ready, but it is not 4G ready. Now they have finally changed basically what the, the Droid is with the Droid 2 and upped the camera by quite a bit. The camera is now a very nice 1080p video camera that has an 8 megapixel sensor in it. So that's that's quite a bit different from the camera, the 5 megapixel 720p camera that's in the Droid 2. So this should be very nice. It's equipped with Android 2.3 Froyo. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. Turned on really quick and as you can see it's a dual core 1 gigahertz processor. It's got two 1 gigahertz cores on it. Really nice here. Screen looks pretty vibrant so far. We'll wait for it to turn on. I know a lot of you like to see that. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And we'll take a closer look at some of it. Really nice phone overall. It's got a forward-facing camera right here also. And the forward-facing camera is a VGA camera. So welcome to Droid 3. Let's take a look at the phone itself. Here's your earpiece. On the side we have a volume rocker. There's a little tab I'll take off in a moment. On the back, again, is the camera with flash. On top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have HDMI out and micro USB. Speaker. I don't know if that's a microphone or a speaker. It looks like it's the microphone. Let's go ahead and slide this open. The keys are raised. And they have a pretty nice click to them. They're a little more rounded. Let's see if we can get the Droid 2 here. Now the Droid 2, these are rounded a little bit, but they have a little bit more definition on this camera, or the, this keyboard. See if you can see it, if it'll refocus here. It's refocused, you can kind of see they're, they're indented a little bit, have a nice click. And so you can see the difference between the two. Let's go ahead and slide that closed, and we'll go ahead and set it up. Now let's go ahead and activate it, and once I do that, I'll be right back. The phone is now activated. Let's go ahead and hit next. Yes, I'll agree. Next. Uh, let's skip the Google account for now, just so we can get into the phone. Pull down to open. It's different. We got some favorites. That's something I haven't seen before. It's nice, nice little animation there. We can go from side to side. Really very fast and responsive. It is dual core, so you'd expect that. There's the apps. Oh, side to side. That's different. See how they kind of bend in and out there. Really nice presentation with this. A little bit 
nicer twist on on the whole Android thing than the, the stock Android. Pretty nice. And what's this? This is a camera, I'm thinking. There we go. So it should be a 1080p camera. And we'll take a closer look at all these things afterwards. There we go. Uh, but let's first, I, one thing I left out, like I said, was the, the micro SD card. I don't see one here. That's where it would go. Uh, but it should have 16 gig internal RAM, or, or memory rather. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that under, not search, under settings. Everything's really quick on this. I'm pretty impressed as far as that goes. Um, storage. Let's take a look at that. Available 11.35 gigabytes, so it probably had 16 or just under that. Maybe 12, but 16 is what it's supposed to have spec-wise. Browser. Typical Android gingerbread, but it has a lot of extra little tweaks to it. As you can see, it's doing the same thing there, too, as we're moving. That's a nice little effect they've got on there. A little bit different and very responsive, especially for one that's just booted up. Anyway, I'm going to get into this a little bit more, and we'll talk about this more in the, in the future as I do some com camera comparisons, things like that. Now, if you have any comments or anything specifically you haven't been able to find in other people's reviews and that sort of thing, please let me know, and I'll try and cover those things other people don't cover. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.